ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு எக்கோ லர்னிங் கிளாஸஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ப்ரொஃபஸர் கீதா மகேஷ் டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அண்ட் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் அண்ட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் கான்செப்ட் தி லா ஆஃப் ரிட்டன்ஸ் டு ஸ்கேல் லா ஆஃப் ரிட்டன்ஸ் டு ஸ்கேல் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ஸ் த ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் பிட்வீன் இன்புட் அண்ட் அவுட்புட் இன் தி லாங் ரன் வி நோ இன் தி லாங் ரன் the producer can bring a change in all the factors of production so in the long run all the factors of production are variable factors of production this law of returns to scale can be studied under three stages increasing returns to scale constant returns to scale and decreasing returns to scale or diminishing returns to scale if input increases if input increases by 10% output increases by 20% it's mean that increase in output is greater than increase in input this we call it as increasing returns because output the returns what you get is 20% and the investment or input is increased by 10% so this stage we call it as increasing returns to scale you can see the second stage by increasing 10% of input output increases by 10% so in the same proportion output increases equivalent to increase in input that position or that stage we call it as constant returns to scale the last one increase in input is 10% but increase in output is less than 10% that is 5% so increase in output is less than increase in input this stage we call it as diminishing or decreasing returns to scale now let us discuss law of returns to scale in detail law of returns to scale explains the physical relationship between input and output in the long run it explains the behavior of output when the quantity of all inputs are changed in the same proportion so here all the factors of production let us take here labor and capital and this labor and capital are increased in the same proportion both are increased in the same proportion then output also changes so the relationship between this output and changes in all the inputs in the same proportion is studied under returns to scale so here the quantity or output is a function of or f of x1 x now let us discuss stages of returns to scale when all inputs are changed in the same proportion total produce response in three different ways the first one is increasing returns to scale it occurs when output increases greater proportion than the proportion of increase in all inputs that means 10% increase in input leads to more than 10% increase in output so output increases greater than increase in input that means 10% increase in input leads to 20% increase in output is a stage of increasing returns to scale so symbolically this can be expressed t times increase in input leads to increase in output but increase in output is greater than increase in output is greater than increase in input increase in input second one constant returns to scale constant returns to scale occurs when output increases when output increases equal proportion of increase in all inputs so here you can consider 
ten percent increase in input leads to ten percent increase in output. This we call it as constant returns to scale. That means t times increase in input leads to increase in output, which is equal to increase in input. We call it as constant returns to scale. The third one decreasing returns or diminishing returns occurs when output increases by a lesser proportion. So, output increases less than the proportion of increase in all inputs. So, increase in output is less than increase in input that stage we call it as decreasing returns to scale. So, 10 percent increase in input leads to less than 10 percent increase in output. So, increase in output is less than increase in input, Le less than increase in input. This stage we call it as decreasing returns to scale. So, here you can see we can write symbolically f of t x 1 t x 2 is less than t f of x 1 and x 2. Dear students, in the diagram on x axis inputs is measured on y axis marginal product is measured. From point P to Q, it we call it as increasing returns to scale. As input increases, if marginal product also increases, then this stage we call it as increasing returns to scale. When the employment of input increases and marginal product remains constant, then it is called as constant returns to scale. As input increases and marginal product decreases, then that stage we call it as decreasing returns to scale. Dear students, returns to scale is very important for 4 marks. Make use of these notes and get good marks. Next topic, short run cost. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.